Google announced that it is ending support for Jamboard, its collaborative whiteboarding tool. While this is a sad day for Jamboard users like me, I do have some good news and some ideas to share with you that'll help you make this transition. Hi, my name is John Sowash. I help teachers and students use Google products in the classroom. Well, the rumors are true. Google has decided to end support for Jamboard, its collaborative whiteboarding tool. I've been using Jamboard for many years. I've created dozens of lessons in Jamboard. I've done tons of videos here on my channel on Jamboard. So this hurts me just as much uh, as it hurts you. Now, I have some good news. Support for Jamboard does not end today. You can continue to use Jamboard this year just like you've done in the past. Here are the important dates and timeline that you'll need to be aware of uh, as you consider alternatives. You may continue using Jamboard through October 1st, 2024. That gives you an entire year of continued support for Jamboard. It will work just like it always has. So if you already have lessons that you're planning on using this school year, continue to use them. There's no need to, to make adjustments right away. In October of 2024, Jamboard will become read only. You can look at your existing files, but you won't be able to create new ones. You won't be able to edit um, any of those files. At this point, you're gonna wanna convert your Jam activities to some other service. And I have some suggestions for you. In December of 2024, the Jamboard service will be completely turned off and you won't be able to access any of your existing activities. That's the key date by which you'll want to convert any important lessons uh, to some other format. Now, Google is partnering with three popular whiteboard companies, some which you may be familiar with, and is recommending that you begin using one of these options to replace Jamboard in your classroom. The first is FigJam, a tool that I love and I've recommended. FigJam has actually partnered with me to build a whole video library for teachers. This announcement further suggests that FigJam is a great option for you to consider. It's really like an advanced version of Jamboard. It has a lot of features that I wish Jamboard did have. It's got great templates and it's completely 100% free. There's no premium account. You don't have to pay for it. All of your teachers and students can, uh, can use it. I love Big Jam. That would be my favorite uh, alternative to consider. Now, Google's also recommending Miro, which is uh, another whiteboarding application, very popular for business. Miro doesn't have as big of a footprint in education, but certainly something you can look into. And then finally, Lucid Spark, which is uh, one of the options available from Lucid. Lucid Spark uh, shares a lot of similarities to uh, Jamboard as well. Um, both Lucid Spark and FigJam are building import tools where you can import your existing Jamboard files into either of these products um, and continue using them. So I would look at uh, those options, FigJam is my favorite, um, and uh, see if that'll work for you. Now, in addition to Google's recommendations, I have a couple of my own. The first is Google Slides. I mean, if you're using Google Drive and Google Classroom, shifting your resources from uh, Jamboard to Google Slides is a no-brainer. I actually have started doing this already. You can export your Jamboard slides or frames as images, upload them to Google Slides, and you're off and running. The only feature that Google Slides does not have is the ability to draw on the screen. Um, maybe they'll add that feature in the future, I don't know, but if handwriting is important to you, you might want to consider a tool like FigJam. The next tool that you can consider is Canva. Canva has a whiteboarding application. Um, it's pretty simple. It's not as robust and feature rich like FigJam, but if you just want some basics and the ability to draw on the screen, Canva is a great option. A lot of teachers and students are already using Canva in the classroom. If you're already set up with Canva, your school district has approved it then it's a great, easy, simple alternative. So those are my options. You've got three options recommended by Google and then a couple additional ones that uh, I can recommend as well. So long, Jamboard. Thanks for the memories. We'll miss you. There are a lot of alternatives for you to consider and uh, lots of time for you to begin transitioning your Jamboard files into slides or one of the alternatives uh, that I've shared. 
If you're interested in learning more about that process, I've got many videos that'll help. You can check out this video up here with some tips on using Google Slides. And if you'd like to learn more about FigJam, my favorite replacement for Jamboard, check out this video playlist down below.